Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use Channel Z, my website. Uh, I put it in a different browser because my other one's got too much junk in it. And plus, it shows you like all of the, uh, all the special logins and stuff that I've got going into it. So I didn't want to have that. So I downloaded a portable Chrome. Uh, that's pretty cool. cool. There's a place called Portable Apps. If you ever want to do this, uh, use a portable app. It's a smarter way of doing it. Anyhow, let's go to Channel Z. I've already got it set up. This is what you should see whenever you come to Channel Z. It's the playlist. And uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Okay, now you're going to get this message. Uh, it's only supported on PCs. The interface for this web application is inadequate for mobile devices. If you're getting this message on a PC, your screen size is inadequate with a 1600 pixels. I think it'll still let me do this. So what you do is you put in a four digit number. This is, I'm just going to show you how to create a playlist. Uh, so you go one, two, three, four, and then put in a musician. Uh, let's do Jeff Lynn. Lynn. And, uh, okay. You see there's this icon here. You take that and you open up your uh, browser bar. I have to enable it. Uh, where is settings? Customize. Uh, bookmark. Show bookmarks bar. Okay. Now you drag and drop this into your bookmarks bar. And then you click on that icon. And it opens up this screen. And there's all these these um, little pop-ups. I'm what I'm going to fix it so that that don't that you don't see those, but uh, it shows up some some standard videos uh, in here. And uh, it's got several different screens. It's still in development. So I may even be working on it while you're using it. So if anything starts weird, starts happening, it's probably because I'm sitting there developing it. And it's not recommended for developers to do stuff like that. But um, I just like uh, being able to... Uh, be a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. Um, I don't, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, we there's several different interfaces. There's This is the arrangement interface. You can arrange your videos in the order that you want people to see them. Um, it is going to go into TV playback mode. So I'm going to say TV style playback, and it will go straight into that mode. <laughs> Uh, so, it plays like a, a TV set would. You, whenever you go into it, it's going to start playing. If I go to this, you know, if I could go here. Uh, yeah. So, these are all like little TV sets. Now, there is a random mode, which will play random videos. It'll play the videos in random uh, it'll play a different video each time. If I reload it, it'll play a different, uh, see, and, uh, it'll always play a random video. Okay. Now, um, and there's non-TV mode, which looks like this, and it gives you a choice of all of the videos you want to watch. You can switch that video, and it will, uh, and I I need to fix this so that uh, I need to fix this so that uh, so that that window appears full on. It's it keeps moving to the side and underneath the button bar. I need to fix that. Uh, so the, the advised mode is to use straight TV mode because it's uh, most entertaining. Um, it isn't 
what you would probably would want to see, but uh, it tends to be great for um, for discovery, uh, content discovery, because what you what you need is not always what you want, and so so that's the way I tend to work. That's the way I roll. Okay, and uh, these are the these are different playbacks. You can uh, you can uh, I hate those. Uh, if I go into here, it'll it'll say something. It'll it's all self-explanatory. But uh, um, this lets you go to to the uh, Channel Z play playlist directory. As I said, I'm gonna make it so that I can turn this uh, these pop-ups on and off. This right here shows um, how long the videos are. Like this one right here is a less than 12 minutes, but it's greater than six minutes. Um, all of these are short, they're under six minutes. And uh, then there's a select mode where you can select videos and uh, you can do things like you can clean the videos you can remove single uh, uh, what this does is this it, it does several things one thing it does is it removes repeats um, so re uh, videos that you have multiple copies of the same video inside of the uh, in, inside of your playlist it will remove th those multiple copies it will also um, uh, get rid of videos that have been taken off of YouTube. Um, and let me see what else is it seeing? It says have been blocked, removed from YouTube, as well as videos that are no longer embeddable on YouTube and repeated videos. So, and Weed is really cool. Um, it will remove videos that have stale content, such as unchanging frames. Now, what that means is um, I t take the last, this is really simple, all I do is I take the last two thumbnails of the, of the, um, of the video. Uh, it has four thumbnails and I just compare those thumbnails and if the content changes between the thumbnails then um, I know that the, uh, the content is, uh, video and if, if it doesn't then it's going to be more stale video it's going to be a single sc screen what i what people tend to do is they tend to upload an album and put a single screen for the album art and uh and just you know it's just music i don't want that i want video content so um i select all of this and then i say weed and then it goes ahead and it weeds out uh, those videos. And just to show you that it works, let's go, um, let's drag our bookmarklet. This is a, a special uh, bookmark that whenever you press it, it sucks out all the YouTube videos on a YouTube page. So let's go to YouTube. And uh, let's... Uh, Pop in uh, uh, yellow out of the blue. blue, and it'll it'll show us the yellow album, and it'll have ah uh, screw it, skip this oh yeah, close I know, you guys are lame so. Skip. I don't care. Okay, so this is the video. Now I say I select this. Now what it's doing is it's sucking all of the vi videos off of this page and uh, running them through Channel Z import. Um, okay, now it gives me a choice of the videos that I want to add to my uh, to my to my uh, Channel Z playlist. Oh, this is interesting. It's 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 matching my IP address, so it's it's ca capturing videos from my other account. 
but uh, let's go turn to stone. Let's do all of these. In fact, I'm just going to add everything here to my channel Z. Say check all, then add content. And it throws it me into audition mode, but I'll go back to arrangement. Uh, and notice there's a lot of repeated video content here. So I can go ahead and I go to select and I select uh, I'll just do some of that and then uh, we go ahead and say weed. Now this is going to take a while but once it's done most of those should be gone um, because they're just single frame videos. And it takes a while. It, it there it goes. And then I'll, I'll do it one more time. Weed. It'll remove all these bottom yellow ones down here. Those all disappear because those are single frame videos. Yeah. And now all that's left is pretty much video content. Evidently, this right here is video content. Let me do a weed on that and see. If it disappears no it's got video content in it so, so something about the video changes we can go ahead and see if that we go ahead and edit videos and uh, select that uh, yellow see if see what changes about it uh, no I don't want to oh you know what this Chrome doesn't support autoplay uh, that's kind of bogus. Well, I can still show you how to use the... Well, that's interesting. It didn't, it didn't weed out that. It should have. <coughs> well, you can go ahead and delete it. Uh, hit select. And go down here, sleep. Select, delete, okay. So it got rid of most of the content. Didn't get rid of everything, but it got most of, rid of most of it. Uh, and then there's randomize, which you can select a, a portion of the screen there, and you can randomize just those video. Um, I did that because for a while, the in arrangement mode, the shuffle wasn't working. Shuffle, shuffle all the videos see and then you say save order and that'll save the order of the videos um, and you can do a search for videos you can add more videos to you can go in here and there's a search configuration screen which looks like this I can say uh, select any videos any duration um, you can do anaglyph videos if you want to uh, Anaglyphs or use those special glasses that see things in 3D. And so you can actually search for anaglyph content. Um, any kind, uh, and you're going to have to adjust that and set the view count. So uh, the number of videos, the number of people that have seen the video, it's going to. Um, it's going to sort uh, it's going to sort by view count and uh, safe search none uh, video license any and you can set publish dates um, if you go there it'll give you a little option of select your date that you published so it's, I could say published after uh, a certain date but I don't want to do that because there's a lot of old good video content. Then you can pop in here and you uh, can say minus uh, um, uh, parodies. You don't want parodies. You don't want uh, funny stuff. Uh, and you want uh, 80s music videos. Ah and what it'll do is it'll add this to the search. Um, so you don't have to do it every time you do the search. And I avoid 
categories because it doesn't seem like people use categories at all. And then we just go back to uh, MTV search, close that screen, and then pop in here. And uh, let's look for uh, what's my favorite 80s music content. Uh, level 42. So level 42. Pop that in. It should do a search for level 42 videos here. And we can select uh, Lessons in Love and uh, Something About You. And uh, let me see if there's anything else in here. Uh, and I would do, I, I haven't done, I haven't added uh, the capability to, to go through multiple pages of search results, but uh, that's, that's for the future. I'll add that feature in. Um, it costs me a certain amount of, they, they charge, they have a, a quota system and they give me about a million per day um, quota points and each one of these costs about a hundred quota. Um, I don't know if that includes uh, going through the pages of uh, search results, but uh, that's the reason why I have a bookmark, Liz, is I don't want to spend, I don't want to waste uh, quota on that, so I use a bookmarklet. And I just go to YouTube and do a YouTube search and uh, pop into YouTube and then I'll search for content there. And I'll say level 42 and uh, level 42 playlists. Now check this out. So you get a, a playlist and it has like 134 things in it. And I'll pop into this. And you see all the stuff here. I just go down this entire playlist until I get to the bottom. And then I pop in my bookmarklet. And it, it just sucks all the videos off that playlist. Um, what this bookmarklet does is it's a JavaScript program. And it goes in and it looks at through the entire page the entire source of the page content and looks for videos and then it just picks them all up and then it sends them to uh, channel z and uh, channel z's got an import feature that that's where it goes to and then channel z tries to determine whether the videos can be embedded um, embeddable content uh, not all video content is embeddable that's the reason why if you just want one video and you don't get it that's the reason why is because it's not embeddable um, and so it's it picks up a lot of um, what's what's known as uh, um, uh, predictive uh, predictive video search stuff that's just embedded in the page. It's like in cookies or something. I don't know where it exists, but uh, it's not content that you probably would want, but you could add it to your channel anyhow. And to see, it, it had some ELO in there. It was because that uh, they always pop up little videos that say, hey, maybe you would like to go over and get some more yellow. And, um, but here's the level 42 and I could select off the 40 level 42 stuff but being the kind of guy I am that I tend to uh, I tend to be low uh, low intensity I mean low um, effort I just do check all add all content it pops it in there and uh, Let's see if it, yeah, yeah, it does something. It, it'll work. It's just for some reason it wasn't. And you can adjust the volume and you can set that for the video, but I'll talk about that later. You go back to the arrangement, select. Wow, it's, it's 
so too many videos. Um, let's do it again. Select all these videos and weed. I probably should have done a clean first before I done a weed. Because then the clean's going to get rid of all the repeats and the content that can't be shown. Uh, let's uh, do a clean. I'll do a clean first. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do another weed here. Do another weed here. I really need to make that weed uh, available to have a full, like put it on the uh, arrangement screen and then just have it like select all the videos and weed them. Uh, let's weed these. Yeah, there's no way to, to tell what got if anything got weeded at all. But uh, here's a Bee Gees video in there. Uh, let me pop that. Let me, let me do one more weed. Wow, this is taking a long time. There it goes. Okay, and uh, let's go and check the uh, TV playback. Okay, that works. Uh, truly random playback. Somebody's uh, playing uh, like uh, let's go edit videos and see what the see if any of this uh, content is uh, static. These are probably static. Yeah. Okay. I can get rid of that content. I'll just go and uh, select. Go to select mode and then uh, hold the control button down and you can press individual videos. See if there's any other content. There's these are probably content that I need to weed out. You know, you can kind of decide for yourself what's. Uh, what probably is uh, static content. Yeah. And then selective delete. And do it again. So that's how you do that. Um, select and delete. Now these buttons here are mainly for the feature that I was going to talk about in a second here. I'll talk about now. Oh, uh, another thing. Uh, you're going to want to back up your login link if you didn't get it. So if you just press the icon and you say, oh, I didn't get my login link. Um you can get it down here and just pop it right it's it's equivalent to this link that i put here and what that lets you do is say you um, leave the you come leave the browser and then you come you want to come back to your playlist 
you press that link and it pops you back in it logs you in and you can go ahead and and it's only for this playlist you'll get one for each one of the playlists you create and uh, the reason why I do that rather than have a login system uh, it was just a matter of taste and the other thing is, is I hate logins I hate registration with the vengeance I don't like the whole process so every program I create I try to avoid any kind of registration process and uh, I'm going to add an option to for those people that want to access the site from say an uh, airport um, in an untrusted network so they can go ahead and clear out their cookies um, so to log them out so I'm going to add a login fee log out feature I don't currently have it in there because I'm doing this at home and I don't have to worry about people getting into my uh, playlists. Um, but uh, that's just me and the other, for other people it's going to be different, you know. Uh, hey, I'm just going to, I'm curious. I want to go into this uh, video that I just saw there. It was a Queen video. Where, what did happen to it? Now, if you, if, you, if you can't see these videos, you can do a plus, plus, plus. That was a control plus. And that, that will let you zoom up and on the video content. It's a, it's a trick. Uh, and you can go in there and uh, look for the video that you were... I'm not finding it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me go back out. Okay. Back to arrangement. I want to play that video. You know, the, a, a, an easy way to do that is to do that. Then to save order and then go to non-TV playback. And it will play the first video off the, the list. You can also do it from this screen. I wonder if I can uh, scale the screen. Yeah, there. So, um, now I was going to talk about editing videos. Uh, you can uh, go into a video, any one of these videos. There's break free. That was the reason why I wasn't finding it. It, had, it didn't look like what I was looking for. It, was, it had this stuff on it. And I can go ahead and hit play. And then I use this button bar thing down here. If it doesn't work for you at first, hit set video and then do it again. Okay. Uh, so I find where I want the video to start. I want it to start whenever he's coming out of that room. And uh, I want the end frame. Let's do that again. It screwed up a, a little bit. Okay. And I want the end frame to be... Um, uh, okay, right here, when he's got his arms out like that, and you're going to set the volume to full blast, set the video, and that, and so whenever it comes in to play it, it'll jump right to that frame. And 
and then if it gets down to here and then let's see where is it now watch and it'll stop at that frame You see, and then I'll just start up. Okay, so that's that's how you edit a video, and I also set the volume on it, and that's how people are going to see that um, when it comes to that video. It'll it'll just jump to that frame, start viewing it, and it'll it'll end at that certain frame, and it will play at that certain volume. Um, now the only time that you really I have the volume set to 25 and the reason for that is because there are some videos that are quiet and there's some that are loud and what you want to do is rather than make everything loud just make only the quiet content loud and keep the loud content quiet okay that way they're both they're all at the same volume level and then people will just adjust their their uh, playback device to play the, everything at the same volume level and then they don't they're not um, it's it's better than having a limiter uh, a limiter would be the uh, way that you would deal with that um, what a limiter is it's an audio device that goes through and and uh, tries to make everything the same volume level but uh, limiter is adaptive it's so much better just to change the volume on the videos uh, individually by hand and uh, that's how you can customize your playlist so that people get the best, uh, get the experience that you want them to have. Um, for example, I had Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller, and I hate all that stuff that they have, the movie content, and I just want to get to the bit that has Michael Jackson's turning to the ghoul and he does his dance. And so I edited the video down to that. And... Uh, so that when it comes to that video, that's all the people see. They don't see all the, the full movie. Um, it's a matter of taste, but uh, it's my taste, and that's what I'm sharing whenever I put a playlist up. Okay, this legend over here will tell you what got changed, if both settings got changed, or if just the volume got changed, or time was cropped. Um, so whenever I say that you can edit video, that's, that's all I'm really talking about is that capability. And you can reset the video. That'll reset the... Uh, it'll, it'll put things back the way they were. Um, you can delete the video. And uh, you can return to the other page. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Resize. That will resize your screen. So it, say you change the size of this window down here and you want it to ch resize to that you hit resize uh, it doesn't work <laughs> it uh, let's try it here resize yeah it, it means something more for this little this little window down below if I hit resize okay and uh, then I can go back to the arrangement screen and uh, some of the other things that I haven't talked about. Oh, let's go to select. Uh, you will notice there is a get related. That's another search capability. Um, so say I want to get videos related to that one video that I got there. So I say get related and you have to be careful with this because if you do multiple videos, it will compound the search. And if you did all the videos on the screen, you'd be w waiting there until forever for it to uh, load up the search. And once it did, it would have everything in the world, uh, uh, practically maybe everything that's on YouTube, <laughs> all related content. Uh, so let's say I'll, I just want to get two videos related content. That's a Hall Notes video. So I can say get related. So it's going to give me hollow notes related and queen related video content as search results. And uh, this is actually doing a YouTube get related search uh, thing. So there's queen videos, Pink Floyd, Madonna, 
uh, some Rod Stewart in there, some uh, why the Proclaimers, some Proclaimers, Tina Turner. Notice how long this search is, all this content that it got. And that's, if you're like really clueless on to what video content you want to have for your playlist, uh, YouTube has its own ideas about what you might be interested in, uh, what's related to the content you selected. <coughs> and I think they, how they determine this is by, um, they watch um, the searches that people perform and they, uh, if they perform other searches and the, those people tend to perform the same searches, they just link that content together and say, well, this is related content. And uh, that's how they figure that out. Um, so add related, all of that. Now I got a huge playlist. Now, as you're creating this playlist, it's already published. So people can see you messing with it I mean, they can see the the content as you put it in there. So uh, you can point your friends at uh, at your playlist, and you can be sitting there editing it, and, and they're going to see your edits. I uh, clean up. So clean all the repeated videos out. And uh, weed. Yeah, so you would weed and you would clean and you would uh, cull out the content that you don't want. And uh, that would be your playlist. Now, there's another part to the playlist. Uh, you go to the arrangement screen. You'll notice that there is a, uh, a bar up here and it has this funky code and then it's got testing. Um, that's just the default setting. Uh, I'm going to pop in here. I want to break free, um, which is what I'm going to name my video. And that's what people are going to see on the playlist screen. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a picture of Freddie Mercury um, that will uh, that we can use. There was one at the top. I'll just go ahead and use that. Oh, this one right here. So I say copy image address and I pop it up here and I hit paste. And what I want is this code, um, this code right here, not that VI. That code sends this and it's all between the slashes. That's what you look for. And uh, then I can go to my playlist directory. Now you don't even have to hit enter. You could, but it it doesn't do anything. Um, it actually traces tracks your changes to the uh, to this input thing, and it will automatically save it once you get out of that. Uh, so, and there it is. I want to break free, and it's right then and there. It's right in there. It's got the icon I selected. It says that it's 7% louder and all this stuff. 220 videos. And then I hit random mode and uh, it will play an Elton John soon. So there you go. So I just created a 220 video play list right just in front of you. And that's just how easy it is to create these videos on uh, uh, and if you need to get back and then that gets back there but now that's you want to use your link to get back to your playlist and uh, I have still haven't talked about everything there's still more there's still more to this um, I showed you the bookmarklet I showed you how to log in there's still this little area in here under arrangement now let's see if there's anything under select that I haven't talked about
get related. I talked about randomize and we, okay, let's go back to arrangement screen. There's this little area. This is music search ages, uh, aids. Uh, here is the, I'm not going to tell who I'm scraping, but I'm, I'm scraping a, uh, particular hundred, uh, hit, of it, uh, music site. And then I'll just, uh, uh, select this. And then you just pick a, 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 a month. And so we can say March of, uh, I was going to do a playlist in 1978. Let's do that. Our, uh, and then I say get songs and it pops in all this content, Peg, Steely Dan. And, uh, and what you would do is you would uh, select what you want, which is Queen, We Are the Champions. And I'm doing middle clicks on this, so it'll pop open a window, a side window, and I decide what kind of content I might want to pair with Queen. Uh, Kansas, let's put some dust in the wind, and uh, uh, let's see, maybe Van Halen. You really got me, maybe. You really got me. Uh, we're in life with it. Uh, sticks, you know, fooling yourself. So I'm going for album oriented rock type guys. Love is like oxygen from Sweet. And uh, let's see if there's anything else down here. Yeah, I think I got pretty much everything I want. Now, then you go into your videos. Hey, you got all that video content. And do our uh, video capture trick. Go to your bookmarklet. Click on that. Wait. Sucks in the videos. And I'm not going to select everything. I'm going to select individual videos this time. Okay. So I find my videos that I want to do. Promo clips. Love is like oxygen. Uh, another love is like uh, maybe that. Uh, I don't want that. That's love is like, well, it's all black in there. I don't want that. Ballroom Blitz, yeah. Box in the run. And... I think I got all the, the ones that I want. Then I hit add content channel and it goes, puts it in. And then I do sticks full, you know, and go down this list and until I've gotten enough of the video content that I want. And then I do the bookmarklet. Sucks in the video content. I wait for it. Now what it's doing is it's doing a cross search. It's uh, taking in the videos and it's checking each video to see if it's playable, if it's embeddable. Um, and it's asking YouTube information about the video, like uh, the duration of the video. Now this doesn't cost me so much. It cost me like two um, quota points for each one of these video checks. And that's cheaper, I think, than uh, doing a full-on search from YouTube directly. So I just do these bookmarklet. Uh, I suck down these bookmarklets with the bookmarklet. I suck down the videos. And uh, select that video content.
getting a lot of fooling yourself stuff. That's because that's the video I asked for, wasn't it? I was asking for that music content. I could do in general sticks if I wanted to. And how you do that is you go back to the Channel Z thing. And it says at the top, it says YouTube. I think one of these, I think it's over here. Yeah, I see YouTube band song. So you would pick your band. You'd find uh, Queen. We are the champions band. And then you would go uh, for sticks, find sticks. There's sticks. You want band. And then if you go in there, then it's going to show you pretty much everything in the world. And I can go ahead and I can do a uh, bookmarklet search on that. Now it's going to look through some of the playlists too. I don't know. I don't know how it gets stuff out of the playlist. Um, all it does is it's really just looking through the page for content. <coughs> and, uh, Illusion. I have to be careful because they they have full on concerts in here. Uh, you can select an, an entire concert because people put that stuff up there. Then I can add that content and it puts that in there. You go back to arrangement. And you see, I got tons of video content now. Uh, so that's how you add. That's that way, and uh, there is another search, and this one I'll tell you what I am scraping. It's everyhit.com. It's in the UK, and so this is the U United Kingdom's uh, search results, and this is a nicer search engine. I can pop in Queen, and it will show me every single Queen hit and its rate, uh, its record. You know the highest it hit on the rank and when what year it did it and uh, so I can go ahead and, and do that uh, I can find uh, what I want to do the Bohemian Rhapsody uh, and uh, let's see under pressure killer queen Somebody to Love, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, um, Radio Gaga, I'm going to do one, one Break Free, I already got that in there, another one Bites the Dust, You're My Best Friend, uh, Don't Stop Me Now, Seven Seas of Rye, Now I'm Here, Now I'm Here, Fat Bomb Girls, that's the only stuff that hit the the charts. None of it else. None of it else um, made it in there. So I'm gonna go over here. Now I'm here, and uh, now I can go ahead and use my bookmarklet and wait. And so that's pretty much everything in Channel Z. Um, that's how you do it. That's how you suck in all the videos. I literally sucked all the video content out of YouTube that I want. And then I would go through and I'd try to figure out how much of that stuff that I really want in there. And it, while I'm doing this, people are actually able to get into my playlist <coughs> and watch the content now as I'm sitting there adding, editing the playlist. Um, add content. And then I'm going to go ahead and check my playlist. Go to arrangement. Category. 242 videos now. I can go to non-TV mode. And select... 
There we go. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's Channel Z. And that's how you use it. And that's how you suck down video content. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that I haven't talked about. Oh, I think I've covered everything. I covered the search modes. There's shuffle. You can shuffle your playlist. Save the order. You move stuff around. You can set the icon. Oh, there's another thing. If the icon uh, is skewed in any way, you can add another thing on here and you can pop in um, a... You can say make it a little bit uh, narrower, but, and it only lets you go within a certain amount because it doesn't want you to make the icon too big. But if you go to the playlist directory, you see now it's narrower. I can go back. Um, let's see, go back, and then I can uh, put it back the way it was, which is this. And I go to the playlist directory and you see now it's uh, fixed. Um, I can make a smaller icon. Uh, so I go back to there and then I can, uh, you have to do your own computation. I don't do it for you. Um, 200 and then this becomes 166, I think. I, then you can go in and check it on the, See if it, yeah, it's a little bit smaller. It's still skewed. But uh, that's how you create a smaller icon. And uh, your text. There you go. Yeah, that and uh, uh, something to, to say right now. Any content that gets, any playlist that gets changed, um, only the changed stuff gets thrown on the front page. So if you're actively changing it, it's going to go to the front, and that's what people are going to see. So uh, it prefers the people who are actively changing their playlists. Um, the stuff here hasn't been touched in a while, and that's the reason why it's back here. So that encourages people to be maintaining their playlists actively, because uh, that's what's going to get shown up on the first page. So there you go. That's uh, Channel Z. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, I didn't talk your leg off too much, but uh, here you. Uh, the, hopefully, I don't have to do this over again. But uh, that was that. And I am uh, Kiernan Holland, and I am the guy who created Channel Z.